former top prosecutor Vincent Bugliosi has been a long-time Bush opponent and has been trying to gain support to have him indicted. He believes Bush is guilty of murder by dragging the U.S. into war in Iraq under false pretenses. Bugliosi feels the Bush administration conspired against the American people, dating back to the first election win eight years ago. The Supreme Court stepped in, took the election away from the American people, stopped the recount, the recount that was ordered and authorized by Florida statutory law, and handed the election to George Bush. Now, if that's not a betrayal of America, that's something that you would expect maybe in a banana republic, but not the United States of America. You're known for calling for the prosecution and impeachment of the American president. Why? What are your reasons behind this? And what kind of evidence do you have? If he were impeached and convicted, he should be impeached and convicted. But he'd still be a free man, still be able to wake up in the morning with his cup of coffee, fresh oranges, travel the world, live a life of privilege, belong to the country club. He shouldn't lead that type of life if he's responsible for what I say he's responsible for. George Bush took this nation to war on a lie under false pretenses, and therefore under the law. He is guilty of murder for the deaths of over 4,000 young American soldiers who died so far in his war fighting in Iraq. And let's not forget about the over 100,000 innocent Iraqi men, women, children, and babies who've died horrible, violent deaths because of George Bush's war. He's got to be brought to justice. So far, nothing is being done to George Bush. No impeachment, not even an investigation of him by Congress or the Department of Justice, nothing. With a couple of weeks left to go before the new American president is elected, it's a good time to draw conclusions. How do you see the foreign policies of the United States of the last several years? Part of foreign policy is that we get the respect of the people around the world. And in the last eight years, something has happened that's never happened before. For the first time in this nation's history, the majority of people in the civilized world now look down upon us. They used to look up to us. Now they have a negative view of us. And I say that if we want, and it's because of the invasion of Iraq, a sovereign nation, I say that if we want uh, the United States of America to become the great nation it once was, we can hardly do that if we don't take the first step of bringing those responsible for the war in Iraq to justice. You're among the people alleging fraud and crime in the previous presidential elections. Do you have any such fear for the upcoming one? These people have transformed this country. The Scalia's and the Thomas's and the Bush's and the Cheney's and the Rose's. They've transformed this nation into a nation where for the very first time, many everyday Americans no longer feel 100% safe and secure. And now for a look at some other headlines from across the globe this hour. The UN General Assembly has voted to refer Kosovo's Declaration of Independence to the International Court of Justice. The court will give a non-binding opinion on the legality of the situation. Kosovo's leaders have rejected the decision. It proclaimed that statehood in February, but Serbia and Russia claimed the declaration was illegal. But 48 countries, including the US and several EU members, do recognize its independence. 18 people have been killed after a small plane crashed and caught fire when coming into land.